Hey everyone, Luis Perez here with another tutorial for iBooks Author. In this tutorial I'm going to look at one of the widgets that allows you to add an interactive image. This is an image where you can zoom in on important parts of the image uh, to show the important details. So the first thing you'll do is create a new iBooks Author document, which I've done here. And then I'll go to the page where I'm going to add that widget. And at the top in the toolbar I'm going to choose Widgets and then interactive image and this will add the widget to the page I can then position it as desired so I'll use my guides to align that and let's just move this over so we can see a little bit better the first step here is to drag the image in that we want to use for the widget so I have an image of a cell that I want to use so I'll go ahead and uh, right now the image is on my desktop so I'll just drag it in drop it on top of the placeholder and then let go I can then click on the image inside the widget and use the slider to adjust the zoom level that I want to use. And that's about right there. When I get the zoom level adjusted just the way I want it, I can click on set view. So this is the image that's the background image where we're going to add the labels. Next thing is uh, right now it will start off with two labels already. So I'll select the label in my inspector so I can go to the widget inspector and then under interaction and here I can go through the different views so I've already set the view for the default which is uh, what you'll see when you first open up the widget I'll go to each label and I can drag the image around so the first thing we're going to label here is the nucleus so let's move the image around so that it's centered on the widget and it's at the right uh, zoom level so again we can use the zoom slider at the bottom and that's about right once I get the view set the way I want it I'll click again on set view and then I can come in here and I can adjust that label and replace the default text the lowering ipsum text with my own text I'll do the same thing for the next label so I'll select it in the inspector I'll use the zoom slider to adjust the zoom level and then I'll move the uh, end of that label so that it's pointing to the correct item So now I can go through the different views in the inspector. I can go to the default view. This is what you're going to see when you first go to the widget on the iPad. And then I can see what it will look like each time one of these uh, labels is selected. There are a few options at the top. For instance, you can show the transport controls. This just adds some controls for navigation right underneath the widget. So the dot is the default view, and then you can go through the labels by clicking on the different numbers. Or you can show the descriptions on the sidebar. So each time that I select the label, I'll see the description over in the corner. Like so. I prefer much better to have the ability to show the transport controls and then use those for navigation. So this is one of the interactive widgets that's available in iBooks Author now. And this is a great widget to use when you want to show an overview of the information as well as be able to zoom in on the important details. For example, when using a diagram in a science class, this would be a great widget to use.